Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be doing a bag switch from my winter bag to my spring and summer bag. And I'm also going to be sharing with you guys how you can clean a nylon purse really, really well. And this is going to be a super casual, chit chatty vlog type of video. Hey guys, so I'm just going to start pulling out my bag that I knew I was looking for. I like to keep all my bags and pouches in this little cubby in my shelf here. I used to have a pretty extravagant handbag collection. That included like a bunch of Betsy Johnson bags, a bunch of Kate Spade, um, Ted Baker, quite a few, um, Henry Bendel as well. But I've really narrowed down my collection now to basically like two or three purses. And this is my go-to summer and spring bag. I think this is going to be my third year using this. And I'm still just as obsessed with it as the day I bought it. If you've never seen this bag, it is the Henry Bundle Jet Setter in the mini or small size. And I think it's so unfortunate that Henry Bundle has now closed. If you didn't know, Henry Bundle was a subsidiary of the L Brand Company, which owns Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret. So they are no longer a thing. The last time I used this bag was last September when I went to Disney World. The great thing about this bag is it's convertible to a little backpack or a crossbody. Whatever you want it to be, it just fits so many different lifestyles. So that's why I love to bring this to Disney with me so I can wear it as a backpack. So that was last September and it got seriously dirty. I usually wash it about once a year. You can see there are some really gross dirt stains on it right there. Like down here is really discolored and dirty. This is probably the worst it's been, so I'm hoping I'll be able to clean it fairly decent. Yeah, like this is really bad. It's not translating very well on the camera, but it is, this right here is super dark and dirty. And then I know there's like a couple stains on the front as well. So I'm really hoping that I can give this a good scrub. Um, nylon bags are pretty easy to clean if you didn't know that. They're super durable. So I'm just going to give this a good clean to get it ready for me to use for the spring and summer season. When I clean this nylon bag, I pull out the interior because I don't want any colors to bleed. I literally just fill up my sink with hot water and some dish soap and submerge the main part of the bag into the sink. I have this little nail scrub brush that I'm gonna use here to just really buff and scrub the nylon material really well and get out the stains. I spent about 20 minutes to a half an hour giving this bag a really good scrub. I don't want it to soak for too long because I wouldn't want the hardware to tarnish. And then I just give it a good rinse and I let it sit out for 48 hours before I messed with it. All right, you guys, here's a look at how my purse cleaned up. Most all of the dirt stains and whatnot have come off. It feels practically brand new again, and I'm so excited about it. So if you have any dirty, nasty nylon bags, I highly suggest giving them a little wash like I just did. There's still just some very slight discoloring, but for the most part, I am very impressed with how well it cleaned up and how durable this bag seriously is. So here's the bag that I have been using right now for winter and fall. I actually did a what's in my bag for this one a couple of months ago. I'll have that linked in a card and into my description box if you want to see it. It's a pretty small bag and I've definitely shifted my lifestyle to utilizing a smaller bag. So that's kind of the direction I've moved in. So I'm just going to take everything out of here and kind of reorganize my situation a little bit. All right, so I have it cleaned out my deodorant that can come out of here. I always end up with so many lipsticks in the bottom of my purse that I just like have there from a daily basis. So put these away. Got an Aldi receipt here that can get out of here. Spray card from Bath and Body Works. All right, so this is my little activity pouch, I like to call it. So I'm actually gonna empty this out, um, kind of reorganize everything. And I like to switch my little pouches every now and then. Um, just because I have quite a few of them and I like, I don't know, just to switch it up and 
use some of my collection. So the Henry Bendel bag that I'm switching to has more space in it, so I can use a bigger pouch. So I like, like these ones don't fit in that little Michael Kors bag. I love the Ted Baker cosmetic pouches. I have, I think three of them, so I might use one of these two. Or I have this one as well. This has Rapunzel on it. I love it, it's so cute. So I like to take advantage of the space I have in the pink bag. I think I'm going to use the Ted Baker one here. I like the black and the pink together. I think it's really pretty, so I think I'm gonna roll with that. Probably should give this a good cleaning. This is kind of gross. I'm not gonna go into detail of everything that I'm putting in here because like I said, I recently did that what's in my bag purse. But I'm just kind of gonna organize and clean some of this stuff, put some more stuff in there. Just gonna see what I have. Most of this is stuff that I still wanna keep. And take this out and switch to a different lotion. Do need to refill my pill container, so I'm actually gonna get some pills to do that. I just got some more Tums I'm putting in here, as well as some ibuprofen. I'm also putting back in this compact. I am gonna switch out, you saw me take out that lotion and I'm switching to this one to put in there. Um, like I said, I have more space so I can fit a bigger lotion. I just picked this one up at Bath & Body Works. All the minis were $2.50 yesterday, so I grabbed a couple. This one is passion fruit and banana flower. It is a little sweet for me, but the packaging. Packaging is where it's at. I love this line that they just came out with for summer. I think all of them are so beautiful and the sunset on this. I was like, all right, I gotta have it. I also just went and quick, quickly grabbed a couple more tampons to stick in here. I just like to keep those on hand just in case. All right, let's pack it up. Boom, done, all good to go. So next thing I'm gonna do is switch over my wallet. I'm gonna take out some of this stuff just cause obviously personal information. Oh, I forgot to put my tampons in. Let's tuck them in, boop. Good to go there. So I am gonna switch over to this Kate Spade wallet. I think I bought this guy last summer or the summer before i don't remember but i think this is a discontinued wallet which i don't understand why because it's amazing if you like compact wallets this is like one of the best ones you can find i love that it has like the inside compartment it has a lot of room for a lot of cards and then you also got the outside slot for your main credit card and your id that's my jam like i love wallets that are set up like this if i can find this style i'll link it below for you guys because i highly recommend it and i love this light blue color i think it's perfect for spring and summer so basically i'll put like rewards cards and cards i don't use very frequently and some coupons in this little compartment here then i just have my beeper to get into my office so i'm going to stick that in this little spot right up front here and then this is actually two different slots. So you've got the one with the clear thing and then you've got another little pocket. So what I'll do is put my driver's license in the clear one and then my main credit card in the secondary pouch. So that works out super perfect. So you don't have to like open this and fumble around for your card like when you're trying to like pay at a register or something. And then of course I got my little quarters here for my Aldi carts I like to keep on hand. So I will just pop those right down in the bottom and it's good to go. If you guys want to see something ridiculous, this is my keychain slash purse charm collection. I love little doodads like this and I collect them and have so many little cute ones. I like to put on my keys or on my bags. These are definitely pretty extra, but I'm okay with that. These are my Halloween ones. I love them so much. Look at that cat. I think this poof might be too much. But I kind of like, I mean, who am I kidding? All these are too much, but. I also really love this moon one. Anyone who's actually sitting through this video right now is probably like, Annie, this is the most asinine thing ever, but it makes me happy. I don't care. Don't judge me. So the moon would be cute. And if you happen to know what this charm is from, let me know below in the comments. Oh, and there's another one. I think I'm gonna do the moon. I think it looks cute. 
normally I like to put my pocket back on here as well, but I think that's going to be too much. Don't y'all? Too much, too much. Yeah, I definitely can't do both sides, so. Or do I want the little bear? The bear is cute too on this. I think I'll stick with the moon. I like the moon. If you can't tell, I love moons. Just in case you didn't realize that. All right, let's load this guy up. I totally forgot, you guys. One of the reasons I love this bag so much is the little pocket on the outside of it to put your phone in so you don't have to reach in there and dig around the black pit before looking for your phone. So that's amazing. There's one on that side. And I forgot that there's one on the front too. Oh my god. I'm getting stupid excited about this. That's right. And I always like to put my sunglasses in the front pouch so I don't have to dig around for those. So that's great. Can you tell them I'm obsessed with this purse? And then I am also going to put my deodorant back in here because that's how I roll. This bag, for the price point it was, was such an amazing bag. I'm seriously so bummed that Henry Bendel is not a thing anymore because I would buy another one of these in two seconds. You want the crossbody or the shoulder bag, these pieces just snap together. And then if you want it as a backpack, these pieces come apart and they just loop around in here like that and then you clip the bottom here. It's literally amazing. Again, everybody watching this is probably like, Girl, this is the most asinine thing ever, but whatever. There we go. Bag switch complete. It's the little things in life, guys. It really is. And then I'm going to put my black one into the little storage container since it's done for the season. I'm excited to carry this one to work tomorrow. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. If this was entertaining for you, great. If not, you didn't have to watch it. Bye.